coming up on today's Heavenly Whip Monday, I am getting to highlight an area of my life that I normally do not show on this show. So with that said, I hope you have your coffee mugs ready. And friends, let's do this today. Here's what's coming up next. I just love me, God. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be created within this earth for such a time as this moment and the moments to come. In Jesus' name. You may be wondering what the heck I'm doing right now, but I want you to see a side of me that I love. I love the fact that I'm crazy and I'm silly, okay? You don't really see that side of me on this show, but here is the deal. Whenever I write something or whenever I maybe paint something when I'm worshiping the Lord, after I'm finished, I literally giggle and I'm like, God, I just love me. I just love me some me. And this is actually not a conceited thing, because if you knew me before, you knew that I really despised myself. But this is to um, give you an example and a practical that when this show ends today, that you are going to get to do the same thing. The word of God gives us two commandments that are equal to each other. And the first one is to love God with our everything, our heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. And the second commandment is just as equal to the first. And that one is this, to love others as you love God yourself. Oftentimes we get two of the three. We get, okay, I know I need to love the Lord my God with everything and I need to love others, but I don't even know how to love myself. Well, here's what's so cool. When you love God with everything, the love that you have is not enough. But when you begin to love God, with your everything. His love comes into you in such a way that it pours out of you over yourself. And now because you see the value in you, you now see the value in others by default. Why? Because you're in awe of who he is. And when you're in awe of who he is, you actually have this honor for everything that he has created. When I woke up today, I had to intentionally say, Teresa, you are so cool. Like God created you and you are here for a reason. And I would just giggle and laugh just thinking about it. Like even if I'm the only one that laughs at my own jokes, guess what? I'm funny to me. And I know this sounds crazy and I know it sounds silly, but listen, we have to get to a place where we are so full of joy because of who God is that we get tickled by how he created us. Now, listen, I'm not talking about owning the things in our life, uh, personality traits that may have been formed through icky stuff because that's not who we really are. That's who we've become because we've allowed, without even unintentionally doing so, we've allowed the things of this life to mold us instead of God molding us into who he created us and intended for us to be. So now when I wake up in the morning, I want to be like, Teresa, do you know how awesome you are? You, I get to be your cheerleader today because you know what? You're going to be your greatest cheerleader. If you're waiting for someone else to cheer you on in life, you might be waiting for a very long time. So you may as well start falling in love with Jesus so that you can start falling in love with who he created you to be. And when you do that, you'll become your greatest advocate. You'll become your greatest cheerleader and saying, look to Jesus. Don't look to yourself. You don't got this. You're not enough. I'm not enough. I am not enough. 
It is not about me being enough. It is about God being more than enough that meets my inadequacies. You see, we have to be proud of the fact that we're not enough. We got to be proud of the fact that we aren't as strong as someone else. But we get to take what we have, and it's like the two fish and the and the five loaves, and say, Lord, this is my everything. This is my excellence. Someone else's excellence may be a mansion, and it may be uh, nice cars, and it may be all the stuff that they have, and they're using it with excellence. Well, guess what? You may have a pinto, and you may you may be going, what the heck is a pinto? <laughs> See, I'm funny. A Pinto is a car they don't make anymore, but it's really ugly, okay? But let's just say that's what you got. And you have an ugly car, you have an ugly house, and you have ugly stuff. But guess what? If you use it for the glory of God, it's your excellence. And if you clean up that Pinto, and if you clean up that house of what you have, and and it's as tidy as it can be, then guess what? It is your excellence. Don't think about the things that other people have. And until you get there, then you'll give your best. No, give your best now. Laugh at yourself now. Love yourself now. Why? Because you can. You and I are our greatest cheerleaders to point us to the Father, to say out loud, and I had to do this two days ago, Teresa, you are going to get up out of bed. You are going to press past this depression because you carry the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit lives within you and you are in Christ. So if that's the case, which it is, then you don't have to wait for joy to come to you. You already have the joy. Now stir that up and laugh with a faith laugh that says, my God is God. He is the one I stay fixed on. I don't stay fixed on his promises. I stay fixed on the one who is the promise keeper. He is the keeper of the promises and everything else takes place. Now, you know what? You may never get that mansion. You may never get that nice car. You may envision it all day long and you may get it. But guess what? Even if you do, that is not the end all. It is another way to utilize that as a tool to glorify God. That's it. That's all it is. And in the meantime, you get to cheer yourself on. If you make a mistake, instead of saying, oh, you're such an idiot. Why do you do this? You mess up every time. My God, you just embarrass, you embarrass yourself in front of others. I used to do that all the time. But now what I do is, Teresa, guess what? You get a do over. Come on, girl. It's good. You're good. Because God is good. You are not enough. Don't even try to be enough for people because you'll never be enough for them and they'll never be enough for you. Get over that. Get over the fact that you don't have this. But guess what? In your surrender, God can have this in Jesus name. So I just want to cheer you on today to cheer yourself on, to look in that mirror. And I'm not talking about these affirmations and, you know, being this like, you're like a God and no, I'm saying minister. If you want to minister to other people and you want to minister to your family, minister to the father by loving him with everything. And as you do that, you'll be able to minister to yourself. And once you minister to yourself, Oh my goodness, you will begin to see that it's effortless and it's by the grace of God that empowers you to rise above what you can never do on your own. Now go cheer yourself on to go after Jesus. And as you go after him, you will want to help those that are in need. You will want to physically take care of your neighbor. You will physically 
want to make sure that, hey, you know what, today I want to bake some cookies for a business, a local business that's struggling right now, or I want to write a card to a few people and just mail it and not even let them know that it's coming in the mail. We get to do things that are, we're not just praying is powerful, but can you imagine when we pray with action? So I want to end today's Heavenly Whip Monday with this scripture. Romans 14, 17. It says, For the kingdom of God is not a matter of what we eat or drink, but this is what the kingdom of God is. Living a life of goodness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. If you serve Christ with this attitude toward him, toward yourself, you'll automatically do it for others. When you serve Christ with this attitude, you will please him and others will approve of you too. So then, let us aim for harmony in the church and try to build each other up. With that principle today, let's build ourselves up in our most holy faith toward the Father. Because as we do that unto him and for us, watch it spill out with an overflow like you could never imagine onto others. You may have woken up saying, there's no way I can get out of bed until the moment you say, Lord, I dedicate this moment to you. I love, love, love that my daughter is part of Mary Kay Cosmetics. She is a, she's a, she is a beauty consultant and they just did their seminar for the weekend And I am telling you, these women are so incredible. And one of the teams that did over a million dollars in sales as a unit, as a team, wasn't about, can I do this? It was about, how can I? It was about going, okay, it doesn't look like we can help those people over there, but Lord, how can we? What ways can we utilize the gifts within each of us to be a part of taking the kingdom of God into their world? Let's do that today. Let's start with us. Let's start in our homes and watch it overflow. When you create something, when you iron something, when you fold something, when you are uh, maybe doing a business deal, I'm telling you, or cooking dinner, whatever you're doing, say, wow, I did that for you, Lord. That was worship to you. And if no one says thank you, it's okay because I did it for you. I did it for you. And from that place, you're no longer begrudgingly doing things for yourself or for other people. But because you're doing it for him, there is this joy that comes forth that is so amazing and beautiful. So listen, have fun today. Have fun today. Reveal his joy today to others. Reveal his joy to yourself. Reveal his forgiveness and his love. And listen, cheers to you, my friend. And remember, when you stay fixed on the Father, and when you're intimate with him, you begin to see his mission in the midst of your battle. And that's how we live a life of heavenly wit. Thank you so much for joining me on today's Heavenly Whip Monday. And remember what this show is all about. When we stay fixed on God, we're able to see his mission fields in the midst of our battlefields. Until next Monday, God bless you and love God so you can love yourself. And when you do that, you'll be able to recognize and treasure the value in others. 
Thank you so much for joining me on Heavenly Wit Monday. Now, this is a call to action. If you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, will you please do so now? And if you liked the content on my YouTube episode today, will you please share it with your friends and family? Thank you so, so much. And also, if you haven't yet written a review on the books that I mentioned today, simply go to Amazon.com and write a review after you read my book. Thank you so much and have a great day.